Good morning, friends. Welcome. I'm here at the kite shop. I'm getting ready to take off today, but you know, I'm running a little bit behind. I'm just now putting polyurethane on the countertop, so I'm gonna let it dry. I got some errands to run, so we'll be fine. I'm gonna leave tonight. No big rush, but I'm still doing some things, so here we are. So a min wax product, it's a satin finish protective, same stuff I put in on the boat. It's good stuff. Something else I've wanted to do for a long time is exchange this steering wheel out for a chain steering wheel. Well, chain steering wheels are expensive. So I went to Don's Marine Salvage and I picked up this boat steering wheel that's pretty perfect. It's also perfect to accommodate my eight ball suicide knob that uh, seems to tear up the padding on this. So let's see if we can change this out. quite certain how this all is attached. Not really sure. Well, let's see. It's not too hard. Never done this before. Didn't even look up a YouTube video. Seems like there's more to it. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, I see. I think we're gonna have to look this one up. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and put this all back together because there's two tools that I do not have that I absolutely need to make this happen. So, eh, no big deal, didn't get that far into it, but we're putting this thing on like real soon. Pretty easy job, I just don't have the tools. Well, one of my favorite parts of the day is going to the car wash. I love this car wash. I have a monthly membership. So I'm gonna leave the Honda sitting for who knows how long. So here we go. Now. Well, what do you think, guys? Pretty nice, huh? Let's go put it in. Looks like it could rain soon. 
things out of the way, fishing pole, hey uh, looks good, alright, I'm liking this. I've already pre-cut all of these pieces of aluminum I'm going to use them for the trim right around the edge and I'm going to use the same caulking I used to here, this sinking, it's just a DAP brand, waterproof, you know, it's a kitchen and bath sealant, but I'm going to use it on this. It's probably not made for this, but I'm going to use it anyway. When I have a little more time and this is dried, I'll soften out the edges with uh, my grinder. But for now, this will be okay. Using a lacquer thinner here to clean the metal, get anything off of it, any oils and markings from my pencil, stuff like that, leftover caulking. Ooh, it's pretty warm out today. Well, here's my idea. I put this little bracket on the back of this pre-existing board that I made for the boat. I'm not using. Put these little hooks on here and be able to have a look. Whoop. Well, once I secure it, I'll have a little extra space. Get the idea. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? It'll just fold down like that. Haven't thought it through much more than that. It's a pivoting bracket that I'm going to use for this that's going to keep it steady in the air. So it doesn't really matter where I mount this. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. They say your eyes are the best judge of measurement, so let's see. How about that? How's that look? I'm okay with it. I like this. Okay, I think the project is finally complete. Check it out. So what I've done is made this little swiveling arm and underneath is this little swivel. It's kind of free floating in one position. I have put some blockers on each side of the the bar here so it doesn't come off and just adjusted it so it sits just dead level and that's perfect may not seem much but this is a, a pretty valuable piece of space so well friends i have completed everything i can today and i am starting my journey i'm gonna head over to bruce the kite man's house bruce and margo I'm gonna have dinner hang out this evening. Uh, I may not leave till morning, probably late tonight, and uh, just get this get this journey started. So 
and see what we come up with. If you guys have suggestions of any place you would like to see, I'm gonna be gone for several days. So by the time you see this here in a couple days from the recording day of this, I'll still be able to take these suggestions in. And uh, I think my route is gonna take me up through South Carolina. I might just zigzag around a little bit. Being conscious of the fuel economy of this van, gas guzzling van. So we'll see where life takes us in the next day or so. But tonight we'll just relax and enjoy ourselves. Did a lot of work today. I'm happy with it. See a couple things I'm gonna fix, but hey, onward and upward. friends it's been a long day I made it out of Orlando a little earlier the busy hustle and bustle of Central Florida on my way north my destination is Nashville Tennessee I changed because it's just too hot here in Florida I can already tell a difference here in Jacksonville I'm here at a rest stop just outside of the city I figure I'd stop and get some breakfast here and make my way to see an old friend in uh, North Carolina, and then shoot over to uh, Nashville from there. So we'll, uh, we'll be way off the beaten path, and we'll probably find some really interesting things that you've never seen before. So I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for joining me today, friends. It's been a good, productive day. I'm glad you're here for it. If you like what you're seeing, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and hit that notification button. And you won't miss out on anything that I'm doing. This week is going to be a busy one. You definitely don't want to miss out on these adventures. I'll show you more of the interior of the van. But for now, I'm going to get to some editing for tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching, friends. I'll see you in the next video.